giving these away right here the Kyrie 7 Brooklyn so you guys comment down below what size you guys wear I'm probably gonna be giving it away to one of you guys what's going on guys man it's Alex at the definition of success where I'm gonna take you through my life and through my money-making journey all right guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the big subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you're never gonna miss out whenever I whenever I make an upload and then look don't forget to hit the like button it helps out the channel and um, don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions during this video because today's video is going to be something a little interesting already. Um, I did a video on this probably like a few months back just going over basically how much money I made within like a week of reselling. And um, I'm going to be doing that again today, alright guys, but a quick disclaimer. Um, when I said like a week, it's more, on, it's more than likely like two weeks due to, you know, from um, shipping time from the time I ordered all this stuff to the time it hits my bank account. So it's gonna be around two weeks, but you know, for a second of the video, how much money I made within this week of reselling, that's what I'm gonna be going over to this video. Today's video is gonna be intended for people who um, who are interested in reselling or are interested in sneakers and getting into sneaker reselling. You guys just kinda wanna know if there's anything, if, like is your money involved, is, is it worth your time? And um, if you guys have any questions on kinda how to get started reselling and some of the tips I have for you guys, click the link down in the description. I'm gonna be linking to a video I made a, a little bit of back, like a while back, on um, some of the tips some tips on reselling some stuff that can help you but yeah like i said on today's video i'm going to be going through how much money i made made from reselling this week all right guys look like i said if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to leave a big like on the video we're about to hop straight up into it all right but yeah like i was saying this video is definitely intended for anybody who's interested in getting into reselling you kind of want to know if there's any money involved and um you know is it worth your time you know um, that's basically what I'm gonna be getting into, all right? So I made a, um, I basically took pretty much everything from my spreadsheet. I, I always keep a spreadsheet on me so I can basically total up how much money I'm um, bringing in during the month or whatever. It just helps me keep track of things and all the expenses coming out. I made um, a spread, I basically just wrote down everything I bought this month on this week. Basically down on this piece of paper, I'm gonna be getting into that for you guys. So most of the items, um, I probably only got like one or two items here because every, like I said, it's during the holidays, everything really sold for me. It's been a big month. As you know, in business stuff really kind of, um, it varies a lot. So, um, you know, this number I'm going to be giving you at the end when I total everything up. So I'm going to be running through the total profit of how much I made within this week. As you guys know, in business stuff always isn't the same. Like, let's say if I made, what, 5000 this week, it's not going to, more than likely not going to be 5000 the next week or the next following month. It's, it could be be what lower or higher that's just how business is but the first item i want to get into that i um, invested in for this week is air max 9 lime green all right so i'm gonna be popping a picture up on the screen because all these pairs sold it was crazy this is a pretty good investment on my part because it was a pretty good return it was air max 90 lime green i purchased 16 pairs of these and i, I purchased them at a buy price of 73 dollars at each pair and the sell price I sold them all for was $96 when, when they all sold, every pair sold for $96. So the profit coming back off of that investment was $368 in pure profit from that investment. So I feel like that's why I really um, purchased so many pairs of these um, the Air Max 90 not lime greens. So I really knew that they're gonna um, they're gonna do numbers, man. I just really felt it. And whenever I purchase something, I really don't just like to really just purchase anything random. I always like to do my research of what I'm gonna be purchasing in, checking the market, checking how many sales. Because one, definitely, if you're um, new into reselling, one of the tips I definitely wanna give you in this video is when you're getting into reselling, one thing you kind of need to focus on is consistently how many, how much this item moves, how frequently does it move every single week, because it's not going to be about how much money you can make within one shoe. It's about how many pairs you can sell for, you know, an X amount of profit, which is really going to make you a lot of money. It's not just really going to be that one shoe that's going to get you that, what, a thousand profit. You know, those are always good to go for, but, you know, like I said, always try to focus on consistent and consistency and how, um, frequently items move when you're looking to purchase any shoe. But like I said, the Air Max 90 Lime Green purchased 16 pairs of these at a buy price of $73 and a sell price of 96. So my price is gonna be $368. And actually that pair right there, if you wanna go check out my other vlog, I did a vlog of me dropping off those pairs. So you guys just go click on the channel and go check that video out if you wanna see me dropping the pairs off. But yeah, so the next pair I invested in was the Air Force One Metallic Gold, all right? Now this is gonna be the big one, all right? So this is definitely the big one. This, this shoe right here, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, this made me the most profit out of everything I bought this week. 
um, due to you know just the popularity of the Air Forces. Air Forces, that's a classic shoe. You can pretty much wear it with anything. But this was the metallic gold, and these sell for over retail, which is retail and Air Forces are ninety dollars. So these sell over retail. Now I got a crazy buy price for these. So for the Air Force One metallic gold, I purchased twelve pairs of these, and I purchased them at a buy price of fifty-eight dollars for each pair. And I sold them all for one hundred and twelve dollars. So. The total profit that I made on the Air Force One Metallic Gold out of the 12 pairs, I made $648 just off the Air Force One Metallic Gold. All right, so if you guys are keeping track of any of this, this is $368 from the Lion Green for 16 pairs, and then $648 with 12 pairs sold of the Air Force One Metallic Gold. All right, so the next one, all right, all right. So the next one I invested in this week, this one's a big old fat brick, all right, guys, man. You gotta you got stay tuned for the video. I might be doing a little bit of a giveaway or whatever, but um, the Kyrie 7 Brooklyn, all right. I purchased these at kind of a, I feel like a pretty high buy price because me personally, I wouldn't pay over like, what, 50 bucks for these. But I purchased them at um, $83, and these actually released pretty recently. Like, no knocking to like Nike or Kyrie or anything, but um, these released pretty recently at um, $83. And I actually, bro, let me see if I can grab all this. All right, so these are actually the um, Kyrie 7 Brooklyn's. These haven't sold, and this is the only pair I purchased in these just because I really felt like it was a questionable investment, and I'm going to probably end up really giving these away. These are pretty cool, like the detail that um, Nike put into these, but um, for 83 bucks that I purchased these for, it's really just not... Um, it's really just not too too good on profit wise and I haven't been able to really sell these. But when I do sell them, I'm planning on selling them for, how much should I say? $140. So there's gonna be some profit made when I sell them at $140. But I'm more than likely gonna end up giving these, giving these away right here, the Kyrie 7 Brooklyn. So you guys comment down below what size you guys wear. I'm probably gonna be giving it away to one of you guys. All investments pay off and this was kind of questionable investment. That's why I didn't really wanna go too hard on this one. But like I said, the Kyrie 7 Brooklyn, yeah, it ended up being a fat, fat old brick, man. It is what it is. You can't always win, but, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not really tripping too hard over it. It's just business, you know, but wish it could have been something a little bit better. But um, I'm just going to leave this right here. But um, like I said, the Kyrie 7 on Brooklyn is paid 83 bucks. This is my only pair I bought of these, and I still haven't been able to sell them, man, sadly. But, um, oh, yeah, another thing, and I forgot to even mention. Forgot to even mention, but shout out to my buyer on these. I sold these this morning. These are, the, these are the 2015 Pirate Blacks. These are used, no box, but uh, these go for 1100 brand new. And I was able to sell them pretty, for a pretty good, pretty good steal. Shout out to my buyer on these. All right, guys. So the next item I want to get into on this list is going to be the Jordan 1 Mid. All right, guys. If you guys watched my other video about me going through that I did a, like a couple months back about the um, like about the Jordans and just investing in Jordans in general when I was going through my profits. I usually like to, um, whenever there's like a Jordan Mid or a Jordan um, 1 Low that I see is available for me to get for a pretty good buy price, I'm always pretty much going to um, go for them because Jordan 1s, over time, they usually end up going going up in value and especially like on the Jordan 1 Lows, how they've been re releasing them lately in like the hype colorways, especially in the mids as well. The um, resale is pretty steady, pretty good on those, and they sell pretty frequently, so I usually like to go for those. So on the Jordan 1 Mid Royal Black, I purchased five pairs of these at a buy price of $112. I was able to get them all sold for $138. So the total profit out of the five pairs I sold is gonna be $130, all right guys? So that's actually the last thing I had on my list because I forgot to add some more stuff on the list. I was kind of I was kind of in a rush to do this video because I have some packages to drop off and I'm going to try to get like a package drop off vlog for you guys um, today. But um, like I said, the Jordan 1 Mid Royal Black purchased five pairs of those at 130 profit. And one thing I did forget to um, even add on the list is um, these right here. Alright, now these right here, I forgot to add these on the list. These are um, these are some Ultra Boost. I'm gonna sell, especially during the holidays, I've been selling some Ultra Boost pretty frequently. But these right here, let me just show you guys these. I don't know if I did an unboxing video on these before when I got them, but I got them pretty, I don't know, I got them pretty recently. But um, I sold a lot of pairs of these during the holiday weekend, but I didn't add any pairs of these onto like the total weekly profit list just because, bro, I forgot about it simply. But these are a pretty dope shoe right here. These the um, 
I believe they're the ISS International Space Ultra Boost 20s. These are a very nice, clean shoe. You guys just check them out. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. And personally, um, I might put me a pair back for my personal, you know, for personal use. I really like the um, colorway on these. It's pretty dope. And really, the details on them. So you guys, let me know what you guys think about these. I'll leave these right here. And so now, what everybody's been waiting for, I'm about to be getting into my total amount of money I made within this week of sneaker reselling. So this week, I made a total $1,146 this week, all right? So that's a crazy number. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty um, good number, especially um, right now during the holidays. I expected me to do, um, I expected me to make a lot of sales just because, you know, the holidays and whatever. I've been selling um, a lot of shoes since like Black Friday and Cyber Monday. That's when I've been getting a lot of pairs out. So $1,146 is what I made this week. And after all the expenses and fees that I had to pay, you know, you have to pay your fees, bro. It is what it is. But um, I'm gonna be bringing home after all the fees and everything, $1,042.86 for this week. So that's a pretty good that's a pretty good number just in profit for one week so if you guys have any questions about sneaker reselling have any questions for me leave them down in the comments i'm going to be responding to comments all day if you're new into reselling you want some advice or anything just hit me up down in the comments i'm going to be responding all day we'll do anything i can help for you guys but like i said man it's alex at the definition of success i'm taking through my life and through my money making journey man other than that i am out